Hi, I'm Ricky Ubeda, and you're watching Celeb Secrets for You. So we're here at the finale of So You Think You Can Dance after so many weeks. How are you feeling? Are you feeling excited, sad? I am exhausted. It's been like 10 weeks of crazy dancing, but I am so grateful, and it was all so worth it. Would you say this was the most stressful week or the most laid back? Definitely the most stressful week. It's the last time America gets to see you dance before the finale. And I think it was just crazy to have six dances. But definitely having an intention for every piece was so, spe that was so special for every single piece. Uh, to, to, everything meant something different and to be able to portray that to millions of Americans for the last time was just really special. You probably get this question a lot. What was your favorite dance of like the entire night? So let's go with who was your favorite person to dance with tonight? Catherine McCormick was a literal angel and she also played an angel in my piece and she's just incredible and I am so humbled to be able to work with her. Can I just say when you did your your solo, you had so much heart and soul. That was my favorite solo of the night, by the way. Yeah, it was so beautiful. But anyways, the judges gave you like a standing ovation like probably three times, I believe. <laughs> and I know you teared up a little bit. <laughs> how, did, how did that make you feel knowing that like where you started and then you're getting standing ovations on the last night? Yeah, I haven't gotten a standing ovation since top 20 week, since the first week. I got one the first week, it was like, really overwhelming and I haven't had one since this week and it was just I wasn't expecting all of that I just like worked really hard to just like give the best product that I possibly could and everything just the stars were aligned and everything worked out and I'm just so happy that they saw all of our hard work. How much have you grown as a dancer throughout this whole journey? Oh tons I think as an artist I'm a changed artist I'm a changed person and I'm leaving this just like so thankful for everything that's happened here. Um, you have so many memories and advices from judges. What's the like the thing that you're going to take away from all of this? I think professionalism is one that I've not. I don't think I've learned it here, but I've definitely established more of it here. And it's so important to be someone that the choreographers want to work with. And it's one thing to be a good dancer, and it's one thing to be a professional and be someone like a pleasure to be in the dance room with. And I think that that's so important, and I really emphasize that here. And in October, you guys are going on a tour. I know, I'm so excited. Are you excited? What are you looking to, like, most? Touring, being Just with everybody? Being with the top 20 with no competition. Or not top 20, top 10, sorry. Being with the top 10 with, like, no competition involved and just dancing our hearts out every night. It's going to be amazing. And then, this is the last time your fans are going to vote for you, sadly. What message do you have for them? They're looking at the camera? Yeah, camera. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for everything and all your support throughout this journey has made me feel so comfortable and has really pushed me hard. When I was feeling down, I would read your tweets and stuff and it was it really touched me in ways that I didn't think fans could. And I just wanted to thank you for opening up your hearts and minds to what I have to do 